so today i'm going to discuss how to work with a, a vivardo software to simulate verilog hdl code when you will open the software this is the window what you are going to see okay so what i am going to do start uh, create a project okay or else you can just go to file project new project a new window will open click on the next here you are going to give the project name uh, i have a project name exor gate and uh, i have set the project location in the e drive click on the next here we have to select very first point that is rtl project and select do not specify source at this time click on the next now this is a very critical window here we are going to select the fpga device to implement the program a uh, program in it we are having arctic 7 fpga its package type is cpg 236 speed grade is uh, 1 and this is the device what we are selecting okay if you just go for simulation this step is not required but if you want to implement the de uh, design into fpga uh, chip then this is very critical window okay once you have done with this click on the next click on finish button it will take a while and you will see the project summary over here that is the name of the project where are you saving this the file location what fpga family you have what is the part name or the fpga chip name where you are going to implement the device and what is the target language okay so once uh, you can review this you can go for the source window and click on the plus symbol here you click on add or create design source now click on the next here select the create file because we are creating a fresh design we don't have a previous design with us so create file now here i am giving the name exor gate so whatever name here you are defining make sure it is not a reserved keyword and it should not start with a number once you have done with this click okay now click on finish it will uh, take exor gate whatever the name we have given previously as a module name now we are supposed to define input and output so i have two input a and b uh, remember verilog is a case sensitive language so you have to be a bit careful and c i am taking as a output now click on okay it will take few moments and here you will be able to see the exor gate file double click on this so you have a editor window open here you can edit the code now we are going for the module exor gate input a and b output c here now i am using the data flow modeling style so i will be writing the assign c is equal to a exor b semicolon save this once you have saved this now click on run simulation run behavioral simulation now you can see that the value the default value of a and b is z which represents the 
high impedance and the value of C is X which is unknown. Now here you just notice I have set my simulation time to 200 nanosecond. So I am going to generate a waveform in such a way that when I am running it for 2 nanosecond, I, uh, 200 nanosecond, I will be having all the possible combination of A and B. So uh, just right click on the signal A, force clock, here the le uh, leading edge value, the value from which you want to start, I am going to take 0 and trailing edge value, the value at which you want to terminate, I am going to take 1 and the period for this, I am going to take 200 nanosecond and duty cycle is 50 percent. So for 100 nanosecond, this signal is going to be low and for remaining 100 nanosecond, this signal is going to be high. Okay. Click on OK. So we will be getting one cycle, one clock cycle uh, of, for signal A having the period 200 nanosecond and duty cycle 50 percent. Now uh, similarly for B we will go for force clock again I am going to start 0 and I will enter 1 this time I am keeping the period of the signal 100 nanosecond. So what will happen for uh, in 200 nanosecond I will get 2 uh, clock period ok. So click on ok we are done with this now I am going to run this for 200 nanosecond the moment you are running ok you can just uh, expand this ok so it is fit all uh, click to maximize uh, you can zoom a bit for a better clarity and here you can see our simulation start at 1000 nanosecond signal e uh, signal a is having a period of 200 nanosecond so up to 1100 nanosecond it is low for remaining 100 second it is high similarly uh, the period of signal b is half of the uh, signal a so you can see for the 50 nanosecond it is low and for remaining 50 uh, nanosecond it is high and the, again it repeats. So I will have a com combination 0 0, I will have a combination 0 1 for which output is 1, I will have a combination 1 0 for which output is 1 and I will have a combination of 1 1 for which output is low. This is how we are doing the simulation in the Xilinx Vivado tool.